phone number and restaurant table. One of the BARs. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. Nice day for it. You're behind the wheel.
Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. Pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? Do you call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Talk about tension. 
That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Get in close. Steer him off the tar. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road. An LAPD file? We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop. 
a hero from the war who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Can you drive to this one? They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dough? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack.
tell Courtney. Bad, bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Bear Ice Company. It really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? says it's going to take at least a week to get an ID. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Majewski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Beautiful day. Hope we have no trouble. You know the way. You can drive. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Close and steer him off the tar. It's no good. We need to get closer. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. 
Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Watch the Hemp Galahad fight. Don't mess that one. these rats. Them. 
Stay in cover! I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB Alpha, Car 11K, Car 11 King, command. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. A Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Roy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. Those vice boys get any on the side? You're an interview, too, Phelps. There's a quack in there with him. What gives? Beats me. Word came down from the chief. Said it was OK. Where's the phone? I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Sheldon, is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Are there matters without dirty in this city anymore? You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? What the hell is the LAPD up to these days? Do you really think I'm gonna steal it? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old unit. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But... It doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. 
It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. Hand over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. Like She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine? what this has been like for them go away cole my father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him i'd like to explain maria i'd like to tell you what i've been going through what you've been going through i have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning i can't stand it cole 